of 1968, an action committee had been formed and the youth organizations of the town set about clearing up such eyesores as this, many of which existed within the borough boundaries. Cleared areas, apart from their improved appearance, provide safer places for children to play. Rivers were cleared of debris, mounds as well as natures. And one of the most spectacular methods of clearing up the town was a procession and bonfire organized by the Junior Civic Trust and the Burnley Round Table. Headed by the Boys Brigade Band, followed by some very charming road sweepers, Several lorries toured the stony home district of the town, inviting householders to root out their combustible rubbish. were set up along the route and manned by members of the Junior Civic Trust. Difficulty, the bonfire 
was soon blazing, and another load of rubbish was on its way out. Under the watchful eye of the law. Clearing rubbish was not the only way in which the town was brightened up. Trees and gardens were planted. Including a new village green at Law House. And in St. Peter's, St. Peter's Churchyard, Junior Civic Trust members transformed this. Into this. Clo Clover Street, later to find its niche in the history of the town, set the base for the sandblasting and stone painting of private properties. concerns followed suit. And the local authority did its share with the sandblasting of the central library, carefully watched by Mr. Cole, the very librarian. Here we see the before and after effect as the last part awaits the sandblasters. It was to see the results of Operation Spring Clean that Her Majesty the Queen made a whistle-stop tour of North East Lancashire, visiting Burnley on May 16, 1968. The focal point of the visit was to be the parish church of St. Peter, and in the early afternoon, the crowds began to assemble. Wait 
nine. Back at St. Peter's, because of the weather, the red carpet only came out at the last moment. The only gloomy thing about this memorable day was the weather, but this in no way dampened the spirits of the onlookers. The mayor, Alderman John Sutcliffe, waited to greet his royal guests. A last-minute word with word with Lord Derby, Lord Lieutenant of the County. The Royal Standard was run up. And its unfurling heralded the arrival of Her Majesty. Much of this had gone unseen by most of the assembled onlookers, 
who next showed the children that she came around to a point by the main gate. the visitors book, both of the town and of the parish church. was saying goodbye to the bishop and making her way to the royal car for the brief journey to Burnley Central Station. Central Station, and in fact all along the route from the church, the crowd had again waited for their own glimpse of the Queen. A last quick check on the rails, and the crews of the two diesel engines, resplendent in special uniforms, went along to bring in the royal train. <coughs> Lord Derby arrived to supervise the final moments of the visit, closely followed by the mayor and the mayoress, who, with other civic leaders, came to bid the Queen Godspeed. With very little time to spare, the royal train drew into the platform. And then came Her Majesty, to be greeted by Mr. Searson, area manager of British Rail. <coughs> Looking remarkably fresh after a long day of sightseeing and handshaking, the Queen entered the station. On the platform, it was quick goodbyes all around. And a few moments later, the Royal Train drew out on the journey to Nosley Hall, the home of Lord Darby. And so the Queen had so briefly come and gone, and yet had shown such an interest in our town, that in the words of the Burnley Express, she had made her Burnley subjects feel so proud. I think I'm a large. Yes, you're only large. I rather you? fancy myself you being a large. This green, royal blue, blue, navy blue, <laughs> red, black yeah, and you white. You brought me that black one for Lottie Jo Bing tonight. Thank, I you. Thank you. Bring it on Sunday, John. Is it It's not here, Sunday. I'll, I'll, pop uh, it I'll drop it, it off to... We'll drop it off tomorrow. Oh, this is very pleasant to me. What do you think, girl? Because you're a bit more used to oh, this yeah. quality of clothing. Yeah, I'm coming from Tubmerdin tomorrow. Should I should take this up, shouldn't I? I'm ugly. Tubmerdin. It's a shame we're having striptease when we start filming. <laughs> 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 Are you filming? Having his putting his sweatshirt on. Well, you couldn't. Put in a sweatshirt. Yes. That goes in the front, Jim, not the back. Not the picture. I am. I'm filming him. Like this, <laughs> 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 Picture complete. Oh yes, that's all right for gardening, that Jim. That's made for a bigger man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm a large. A large. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have left it on.
want to show in the picture. <laughs> that's that's well. the values yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. There you are. has been going through some buttons today. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. Uh, uh, what what colour? What colour do I want? Green. I the, the green that Stephen's got. Am I not going into blue? This raw blue, navy blue, black, you can't wear red, it. green, I'd like. green, please, yes, green large. Yes, how much do you want? Um, the fifteen ninety nine. Well, you know. sixteen pounds to everybody no, else. <laughs> Richard's got a t-shirt. He was the first one to buy a t-shirt off us. <laughs> He's going to wear it when he goes jogging. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Oh, it's a shortest. Oh, I haven't got this. The speed rat. Oh, wait a minute, the shutter's wrong. I'll have to stop. That's not, that is St. Peter's. Yes, it is. It's round the back. The shutter is perfectly all right. Where's that? Round square. Painting the house for the Queen's, isn't it? Clover Street, isn't it? It's Clover Street. Clover Street, Clover Street where Clover the Queen Street. went, yeah. yes. Oh. The Junior Civic Trust members transformed this. Thank you. 